There's something magical about a kindergarten, kindergarten graduation ceremony. A sense of innocence kept alive, new paths taken, and unrealized potential. As I gaze out over the throng, I see proud mothers, fathers, grandparents, family members, and friends, and they have all every right to be proud. Hello and welcome to our distinguished guest, Sir Ferdinand Pascual, my co-educators, parents, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, all the girls and boys who are graduating from kindergarten today. This is a very momentous day indeed. I understand that it's difficult to keep still for an extended period of time. Therefore, I will do my best to keep my remarks brief. As we celebrate the young men and women of the future today, we may take heart in the fact that they have made excellent beginnings down the path toward future success. They have gone through a lot of change and growth this year. So much has been taught to them. They have stayed eager and excited, and in so many ways they have grown. We want to thank and appreciate all the teachers and parents for the great jobs they have done to make this process possible. To our young ladies and gentlemen, you are all tremendous special people. You have all put in a lot of effort to learn something new every day. You have all played hard. You have made new friends and you have made an effort to be good friends as well. Congratulations! You all deserve to be really proud of what you have accomplished this year. The new year will bring fresh experiences and challenges for our young children. We wish them well as they embark on promising new futures full of accomplishments and aspirations, and we say to them, enjoy being five as much as you can today, and don't think so much about getting ready to be six. Work hard and play fair. You may keep your, your unique ability to discover complexity and simplicity, and to see thousands of marbles where others see none. Again, congratulations to all our graduates and mabuhay. It is an honor to introduce to you our speaker today. He is a demonstration teacher, curriculum writer, resource speaker, internal quality auditor, division and regional mathematics trainer, division mathematics coordinator, and education program supervisor in mathematics. He is also an author of Mathematics Builder, Learning Exercises in Mathematics Made Easy, Work text in Mathematics 1 to 4, Active Mathematics Series 1 to 4, and Interactive Mathematics Series 1 to 4. Currently, he is the Chief of School Governance and Operations Division in DepEd Province of Rizal since 2015. He has also achieved some prestigious awards such as Superintendent's Award for Professionalism, Commitment, and Loyalty to the Service. Outstanding school teacher, Guru Nasyon, Division of Rizal. Gawad pagkilala, mataas na paaralang nasyonal ng Tanay. Under his leadership as Chief of the School Governance and Operations Division, his unit received the Zero Backlog Award and Best Organizational Unit, proof of his dedication and excellent leadership in SGOD. My dear guests, I would like to introduce to you our guest speaker, the Chief of the School Governance and Operations Division, Mr. Ferdinand C. Pascual. The school administrator, Mrs. Audrey Villegas, distinguished guests, friends, faculty, parents and graduates, mainit na pagpapahalaga at maalab na pagbati. It gives me much joy and pride to congratulate the graduates of Peniel Integrated Christian Academy, Batch 2023. Today is a celebration of your hard work perseverance, and diligence for the past years. Today is the season when you will look back at your happy memories 
and the challenges that went with it. But this celebration is just a step of another long journey. Ang pagtatapos ay hudyat ng bagong simula sa higit na mapanghamon at malawak na antas ng pag-aaral. This year's team, K-12 graduates forging a resilient educational foundation, affirms the commitment of Peniel Integrated Christian Academy in providing our learners with 21st century skills. As you continue your journey, there will be more challenges and adversities along the way. Here are the key points that I would like to impart to you. First, lead yourself to where you want to be. Competition nowadays is very stiff. Become the leader of your life. Develop a strong mind and you will lead a strong life. Don't be contented with what you are now. Always strive for something bigger. You are the master of your destiny. You can make your life the way you want it to be. Sumabay sa makabagong takbo ng panahon na may direksyon, sipag at determinasyon, tiwala sa sarili at positibong pananaw. The second point that I would like to impart to you is uh, each day is a blessing a gift and an opportunity to reach your dreams. Edukasyon ang magiging sandiga ninyo tungo sa maunlad na kinabukasan. To succeed in life, you must set working goals that are realistic and possible. Ano ang gusto nyong mangyari sa buhay nyo, sa kasalukuyan at sa hinaharap? Surround yourself with people who have dreams, desire, and ambition. They will help you push and realize your own. Never forget the wise guidance of your parents, the patience and persistence of your teachers who constantly inspire you to pursue your ambitions. The third point that I would like to share to you is you must do the things you think you cannot do. Know and understand your strengths and weaknesses. Learn to confront your fears if you want to rise. This will uh, mold you to become better and stronger persons. As you grow in years and experience, you will have to deal with bigger problems and more responsibilities. You will be measured by your ability to walk through life with uh, discipline, integrity, and the moral courage. The fourth uh, important point that I would like to share to you is be strong in character. Graduates, things will not always go according to your plans. Life's challenges can either make you or break you. Let them make you. Laging uh, tandaan, hindi sapat ang talino lamang para magtagumpay. Kasing halaga rin ito ang magandang asal. Huwag matatakot na sumubok, magkamali at mabigo. Bawat hakbang, pagkakamali at kabiguan na inyong mararanasan ay magiging mahalagang bahagi ng iyong pagkatao. Whatever uh, life's trial that may come your way, there's no stopping or holding back. Life must go on. The success in life is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. The uh, fifth and final point that I would like to share is panatilihin ang malakas na pananalig sa Diyos. Sapagkat siya ang lakas na susubaybay at aakay sa iyo sa katuparan ng iyong mga pangarap. Put God first and everything else will fall into place. As uh, stated in uh, Proverbs uh, 16 verse 9, We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Graduates, as you leave the portals of your uh, alma mater, bear in mind that in every adversity, there lies the seed of an equal or greater benefit. 
Nais nice kong uh, iwan sa inyo ang mga katagang ito. You are always free to choose with what you do with your life. To make changes in your future, make changes today. God bless you all and again, congratulations! By the presentation and recommendation of your school administrator, Mrs. Audrey Lee de Villegas, that the 150 male and 158 female with a total of 308 students have satisfactorily completed all the requirements mandated by the Department of Education you are hereby entitled to receive your certificate and by virtue of the power vested in me by the Department of Education as Chief of the School Governance and Operations Division, I hereby declare that the 318 their garden students from uh, Peniel Integrated Christian Academy graduates this 22nd day of June 2023. You may now receive your certificate. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Let me call on the kindergarten advisors, Ms. Joanna Amores and Ms. Joy Siliban. To receive their diplomas and awards, may I call on the following kindergarten pupils, starting off with... Ablon Julius Justin A. Sean Nasir Adray O. Anchures Alan Rayleigh D. 